So the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to use the, uh, the pencil tool and holding the shift key down to make a figure that is all joined together. So normally, uh, now I'm, I'm using the pencil tool here, so I'm going to hold the shift key down as you, you can draw a line segment like that. Uh, now it's similar to using this, but of course the problem with the line segment tool is every time you want to draw another one, you got to go back in here and get it. Okay, So if I wanted to... Uh, Let's start over here. So uh, holding the shift key draw, uh, down draws you know, a nice line segment. So let's say I want to draw a triangle. So I'm going to hold my shift key down again, and then release, and I release the mouse too. And then I'm going to draw another side here, holding the shift key down, mouse, release. So that's three separate line segments. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I want to show you how to do that, but have it all joined together. So if you want to move it, you don't move, you know, all three sides independently. So I'm going to click here and then hold my shift key down. So let's draw that side. Now I'm going to let go of the shift key and I'm going to move my pen so just a tiny bit. And I'm going to press the shift key down again and go over to here. I'm going to let go of the shift key, move my pencil just a tiny bit press the shift key. Now all the time I'm pressing the mouse down. I'm, pull, I'm holding my mouse down. And let's go to the end here. And then I'll let go of the shift key and now uh, shift key and the mouse. Now I haven't figured out why. Now I see this happen once in a while, this curve thing. I haven't been able to figure out exactly why it's happening. That's kind of a rarity. So I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to start here, hold the shift key down, and I'm pressing my mouse down. Let go of the shift key, move the um, pencil just a tiny bit. Go to my other vertice. Okay, let go of the shift key, and I'm going to move my pencil just a little bit. Press the shift key down. Go to the end. Okay, and so now I have a triangle that all three sides join together. So I haven't figured out why it does this. It does some curve thing once in a while. I'm not too sure exactly how to reproduce that, but that's how you can make a like a closed figure that's all joined together. And and you could do, you know, all kinds of, you know, strange sides. I mean, you could draw, you know, some kind of, you know, just with the pencil tool, shift, so, see, I'm holding my shift key down. So the shift's not held down now. So let's say I wanted to, you know, just draw this and then I'll hold my shift key down so I get another line segment. You know, and you know, maybe I'll move a little bit, go another line segment, move a little bit, another line segment. So that's all joined together. Okay. So I mean, you could, if you were really good, you could draw like a hexagon. So let's, okay. So I'll let go of my shift key, move the pencil just a little bit. So let's draw, move my uh, shift key, my uh, pencil just a little bit. Okay, let go of the shift key, move my pencil just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to move my pencil just a little bit. Okay, got the shift key now. Shift key's off, move the pencil a little bit, go back up here, and there's a hexagon. It's all joined together. So uh, experiment with it, but it's a way you could, um, you know, draw a figure so that all sides are joined together. So, for example, let's say I wanted to draw a right triangle. Uh, let's see here. Let's start at the right angle. So I'm going to go up. Okay, let go of the shift key, move my pencil a bit. So I'm going to draw the hypotenuse. Ah, there's my curve again. Not sure why. It's almost like, uh, you know, I'm drawing a parabola or part of a hyperbola. And then what, what, let go of it. It's a straight line. So let me try my right triangle again. So holding the shift key down, there's one leg of the triangle. I'm going to move oh, just a little bit. Okay, so, and then let go of the shift key, move it out a little bit, okay, and actually I'm going to do the right angle symbol too, uh, I'm going to move just a little bit, so let me go up here, there we go, now I get that curve thing going on there again, so let me try that one more time, let's, maybe I'll more luck with green, so holding the shift key down and the mouse. So there's one side. Let go of the shift key, move that just a little bit. Okay, so there's my hypotenuse. Move this a little bit. Let's go over here, and I'm going to I'm going to include the right angle symbol. So I'm going to let go of the shift key, 
I'll move this a little bit up. So I'm going to, and then let's actually, I guess, I can actually go over here and down. So there's my nice right triangle and it's all joined together. So, you know, it'll take some practice, but you you can actually get pretty good at uh, drawing, uh, drawing figures that are all joined together. And that's the end of the tutorial.